Marie and I'm coming to y'all so so comfortable right now right scarf everything but um I'm coming to y'all because I wanted to do a video have you ever found a picture or a video on like Instagram whatever whatever social media sites you use and it's just like oh that's dope I want to do that or I want to put my spin on that and then you go back and you realize that you never saved the video so it's like you don't really remember exactly how it looked or exactly what you were supposed to do what no it's just me okay um so basically that's what i did um i saw this picture um or maybe it was a video i think it was a video on instagram and then i wanted to recreate something similar to that and then i could not find the video or picture anymore and i did not save it the idea behind this look is kind of like tribals in the front and then like a washing old type vibe in the back. I may pin it up, I may do something like that, but that's the look I'm going for. And I just wanna show that, you know, you can style your natural hair. Like a lot of people are like against weaves or, or whatever, like you can do things that are functional, um, that are protective in a sense to your own natural hair and make it last for a time being. So. With that being said, um, jump to this video, okay? Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you like this video and make sure your notification bell is on, okay? Because we only going up from here. Like, only good things can happen from here. Let's, that's, that's just it. That's period, okay? So, let's get to it. All right, y'all. So, I know you saw the scarf in my head. It's kind of like obvious, you know? Um, this is a good old giant scarf that I have stolen from my grandmother years ago. But yeah, that's what it is clutch clutch um and then i have a plastic cap on my head because i did wash my hair earlier right i washed i deep conditioned too shout out to me and then i put a little leave-in in my hair and i put that plastic bag back on um that plastic cap because i was not ready to do my hair and i didn't want it to dry out so the only thing that's on my hair right now is a leave-in so first and foremost i'm gonna separate the part that I want to be the braids or the tribal type vibe away from the wash and go part. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate this. All right, you guys, it is not perfect by no means is this part perfect. But as you can see, I got a good chunk of the wash and go in the back. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of smoothie to this front section. Okay, you guys, so before I go into the front part, I know this look crazy. I banded it because I want it to dry a little bit because it's really hard for me to braid on wet hair, on my wet hair. Like, my hair is too fine for that. I need some, it to dry and kind of thicken up in order for me to braid on it. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the wash and go part in the back. All 
All right, you guys, so the back is completed. I'm gonna go and let my hair dry for a bit. Like I said, cause I need this to dry down. So I'm gonna let these down, of course, so they can dry. And I want them to kind of dry in a stretch state. So it's not, um, you know, all shrunken up. So yeah, I will be back. All right, you guys, I'm back. It has dried for a little bit. I'm like low key excited, but then nervous at the same time. So I'm just gonna take these silk scrunchies off. It's still damp, like my hair is not 100% dry, but you see, you see, you see, you see. I just got to figure out how I want to part it, so. All right, y'all, so I'm just going to do like one talk through kind of of me like explaining what I'm doing. And then the rest of them, I'm just going to like fast forward so y'all can like see the whole like idea of it. So I did like a center one because I feel like most typical tribal braids start with like a center braid. Like, I don't know why. I'm just gonna use like some edge control down the part, right? You do whatever works for you. You can get some jam, whatever. To me, this just helps make everything look a little bit more crispy, a little bit more defined. And I'm making my braids rather like kind of big, like they're not skinny braids because I like the look of them looking a little bit more fuller. And since I'm not using um, like braiding hair or anything, I'm just using mine. This is what I'm doing, okay? I'm, in my mind, this makes sense. Now this could go completely wrong, but y'all gonna see by the end of the video, okay? All right, y'all, and then I'm gonna turn it into a two strand twist. So I'm gonna take one of those strands from the braid, split that in half, um, just to make it two strands, add a little gel, and then just two strands. And I'm just gonna coil the end like that. And that's one braid down. So y'all kind of see the vibes. You see, you see, you see. I think it's coming. It's coming. Now, let me figure out how I'm gonna braid this. Um, and y'all will see the process because I'm gonna do like a sped through version so y'all can see like how I ended up doing it. So let's go.
at you guys i look so kitty right now but i am finna go ahead and like diffuse out this wash and go it's dry but i want to make sure it's 100 percent dry before i stretch so i'm gonna diffuse a little bit and then i'm gonna stretch um i'm not gonna bother like the twist or anything right now so let me pin these up out the way Alright y'all, so it is all stretched and diffused Well, as much as I'm going to do. And then I'm going to pick it out. So I'm just going to go through and like pick at the roots and kind of down, but not all the way. Like I'm just going to do like a little like that. This wash and go came out like really nice. <laughs> I'm over here just destroying it. Well, not really. I'm keeping the definition. I just need to make it a little bigger. Okay, now you could obviously wear it down like this, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, but I don't want that, okay? So, I am going to take a rat tail comb, and I'm going to like part it down the middle. Alright you guys, so I just went ahead and parted my hair down the middle, the part is not straight. Um, cause you know, trying to part a wash and go is like trying to part the red sea. Anyway, so I used a, a regular scrunchie at first and then I was like, this going to be in my hair for a minute. So let me use a silk satin scrunchie so my hair won't be that damaged. Now I have fine hair and my hair wasn't giving me everything that I needed it to give me. Like I just, I really wanted to throw some weave in it so bad, but I was like, no, the video is about using your natural hair. So I'm like really just playing with it, trying to get it how I want it. But of course, if you had thicker hair, if you wanted to add weave at this point, anything would always work. Um, I added another little black rubber band so that the ponies would sit up a little higher. And then, of course, as the days went through, my hair did get a little bigger. I switched it to one ponytail instead of two some days. So um, I'm just picking with it and trying to get it to like sit up and like fluff out a little bit more because it was kind of like laying all over my braids. Um, but yeah, it's all about playing with it at this point. What you like, what you don't like. Um, I did add like some jewels and some beads and everything. So everything up, everything to this point now is just preference. All right, you guys. So this is the final look. I decided to add like a couple beads on here. And I need to fluff my hair out more, but y'all, I got fine hair, okay? I can't, I can't help it. Like, I know people be expecting, like, this big old boom. Like, my natural hair don't, don't be doing it, okay? My, it just don't, all right? So, if you got bigger, uh, thicker hair, power, more power to you, sis, okay? Mine don't work like that. It gives me, like, Xenon type vibes. I don't know if y'all remember that, but, like, Raven's character on Xenon. And even, like, yeah, Raven's character because the other girl's hell wasn't. Anyways, um, I hope you guys like this look. And as always, if you do decide to recreate this look, make sure to tag me on IG. And I will put my IG handle right here. And while you're there, go ahead and follow your girl. You might as well. You might as well. Um, and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Like I told you in the preset, make sure you are subscribed. You thumbs up this video if you liked it. And your notification bell is on so you don't miss none of my uploads because I upload every single Wednesday. And I'll catch you guys next Wednesday. Peace.